What is up everyone? This is Orkin0909 and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 182, the 182nd, 82th, 82nd, 82th, 182th episode of the Operation Bedrock series. As soon as my friends and I, we're going to be mining the entire world until, well yeah, until there's nothing but Bedrock except for the floor of course, because we need something flat to walk on. So, got to get rid of all this leather, or should I keep it? And know what, I'm going to keep that stack because I may or may not need to get some books later on. So who knows, at least I'll have something to work with. Well, from the time being, I was actually killing a lot of animals. I got myself some steak, some cooked pork chops, some more steak, more cooked pork chops, and now I am good to go. If there's any more animals spawning in the area, I'm going to be happy to kill them because we need more food. Like that piggy over there. Oh, the warthog. This is a Halo mashup pack, and again, everything looks so vivid. This looks so cool, honestly. And the animals, they're cool as well. Let's see if we can find a cow around here. Oh, look at that, another warthog. Sweet, more pork chops for everyone. Until we actually go to peaceful mode, so that's when we don't need any more food for the time being. We can still collect food, but we won't need any food for, for a long while until we switch over to another difficult setting. Maybe they'll actually add in hardcore mode. Can you imagine Operation Bedrock with the hardcore? Yep, don't fall in lava, don't fall over, don't get blown up. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of weird. And who is this guy? Okay, I guess he left. Unless he's going to be the type of person who actually just joins and leaves and joins and leaves. But let's go ahead and actually make it to friends only, just in case. So yeah, Sticky Tag doesn't have his mic in, he's helping me out with the world, so we kind of do a little bit of a conversation, so sadly, it's that, it's, it's right there, it's just easier to invite him. But, let's move on, let's move on, let's see if I'll get any more messages from my friends, if they want to join me as well, then I'll be able to let them go into the world itself, it's all volunteer work. Okay, alright, let's go all the way to the other side of the spectrum to for me to actually get into where we need to go to because we got a lot of blocks in mine up and that's how it's gonna be let's see let's see where am i even going <laughs> i don't even my, my map with me and i don't know where we're going god dang well at least i'll be able to find my way from here is that a piggy was that a piggy i cannot see nope it wasn't a piggy i thought i saw something peek but then i just realized that it wouldn't be one okay so what I want to talk about in this episode, that one person did bring up that I totally, totally agree with him. That Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome are like podcasts. That podcasts are pretty much anything goes if, for a discussion. You can talk about anything while you have something in the background. So whether it be the logo, because of course podcasts are usually audio and not visual. But with this, this is more of a visual podcast that you see Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome. And then you just hear me talk, depending on what I need to talk about. So I totally, totally agree with him on that one. Especially with all the with the different type of videos I could be making. Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome, there's not much more I could actually add. So at this point, it is just podcasting where... If something happens, I tell you guys about it. If something needs to be done or something needs to be updated, I tell you guys about it. Just anything really kind of goes when it comes to a podcast. And this is the reason why I actually like making the shorter videos to where I make it a specified topic of what I want to talk about. Because then I could actually just focus on that one thing. A good thing these are podcasts, quote unquote. At least these are videos because I'm able to actually edit out all the unnecessary noises in the background, especially when the dogs are barking. One of the dogs is about 13 years old and she'll just bark at anything, honestly. If one little dog starts barking, she'll just bark because of the fact of the matter is if one dog's barking, I got to join in as well. She has no idea what she's barking at because she's partially blind, so she'll just bark at anything that goes. So it is quite annoying, especially when she's the only one that doesn't actually stop barking. Yeah, she'll continue on barking, like before then, she literally barked outside for a good 30 minutes before somebody actually let her inside. I just want to know how long she'll actually go for, and that's how long she went for, over 30 minutes of non-stop barking. Yeah, it gets really on your nerves little by little. But in any case, this is like it is, it's a podcast, anything goes, anything can be talked about, and that's what I agree on, especially when there's nothing more we can actually add to it. I've already added this into my rant, so if you'd like to check it out, the link will be in the description below that I talk about. The fact of the matter is, is that there's not more you can actually add when you're actually digging up blocks, or that if you're placing glass down. You can't really make it all that more exciting, especially when you do it, you've been doing this for a very, very long time, is that if you keep reacting to 
every little thing, it just gets plain and stale. This is one of the reasons why I actually want to make some different types of videos, like maybe Hunger Games or mini games or things like that. So if I actually start making them in the future, then I believe I could actually make them better for myself and especially make it better for the audience because usually the audience is pretty used to actually watching a person scream off the top of their heads whenever they're making a video. And I'm not knocking them down. It makes the video more interesting. It keeps the person's attention. Because the number one thing that you want to do in a video is keep the person's attention throughout the whole entire video. But the thing is with me, this is my commentary style and this is how I like it. I like to actually add commentary and talk to you guys about these type of things. And this is how I usually do things. All other people, whenever they do their videos, especially depending on what type of video it is in general, like Hunger Games, you can't really have a good, decent commentary when it comes to Hunger Games, unless, of course, if you were to do it in post commentary. But in live commentary, however, it's really, really hard to actually focus on staying alive and try to maintain a good commentary. If you do not believe me, then try to make a live commentary throughout the entire match and see if you don't actually generally react to a person trying to kill you. Because if someone's trying to kill you, your focus like goes off from the commentary aspect and to staying alive like you're sometimes some people may be panicking and like saying oh my god oh my god don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me oh my god no 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 yeah that type of deal that is not commentary even though it is commentary but it's not the type of commentary that you're trying to talk about something it just goes all into play wherein you make a video like this here i i react to the creepers i react to the skeletons but then after that i go back to what i would need to talk about but even at the same time it kind of distracts the flow of the commentary it kind of breaks the flow of the commentary if something happens and if i were to react to it sometimes i don't even react to it at all because i see it happen so many times that that it's just at this point there's nothing there's it's nothing new like i remember i didn't even react to all when i fell in lava it's like yep this was a thing and now i just got out put put the water bucket down and then i'm fine one person actually commented is like i like how he doesn't even react to the fact that he was burning alive it's like it happens so many times it just loses its it kind of loses its its what what's it called i don't even remember i'm trying to remember what the exact word for it honestly it's just you just stop reacting to it. It's just a normal thing that happens every now and then. Like when the first time you fell in the lava, you start panicking. But as more and more times you fell, fall in the lava, it just, it's just you don't even react to it anymore. So it was a thing with me in the commentary. It's like if I were to react every single time I find diamonds, then it's like it gets old and stale. There's nothing more you could actually say to finding more diamonds because I found so much diamonds by mining. It's just nothing to me anymore. It's just nothing. So, yeah, I really need to actually come back to making different types of videos like when I did before. I remember doing my first Hunger Games and it was quite successful and I haven't done any more since then. So I'm probably going to have to do that again, especially on the PC. I've gotten slightly better on the PC because when I actually did PC gaming for the first time with Minecraft, I had no idea how to do the entire WASD keys. <laughs> I honestly didn't. I was so used to the arrow keys for movement that I tried to use the arrow keys, but that didn't do anything for me. And then when I tried to do the the WASD keys, it was so confusing to me that it took me a while to figure that out. I remember actually pressing down Q a lot of times to drop my items because I was trying to actually do some movements. Even though that's really a bad placement, so close to the W, but as time goes on, you just know not to actually press it, and you get used to it. It's just muscle memory at this point. I didn't even have it at that point with the whole keyboard thing, so it took me a while. It honestly did. I kept dropping a lot of my pickaxes. I kept dropping a lot of valuable items because of it. It was quite annoying, but thankfully, I didn't even lose any of those items. Except for one moment where I did lose an item. I'm like, god dang it. Ah, well, time to move on from here. But if I were to actually do Hunger Games or mini games, I really hope I could get my friends to go on Skype and then we all could play together and then it will be just like getting the crew back together. Not that crew, I'm talking about... <laughs> Yeah, every, when I hear the when I hear the crew, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, just basically all my friends, just have all my friends back together making videos like how it was before. Yeah, that would be fun, especially when we actually try to kill each other, we just mock each other, trash talk each other and all that stuff. Of course, I'm going to be the clean one, everybody else is going to be however they want to be. Especially, yeah. 
we may have to tone it down a bit depending on it, what the what they're saying and all that stuff because i do have a little bit of guidelines that no homophobics and no racial slurs that's all i want out of the commentaries because yeah that is not needed well moving on moving on moving on moving on oh stop it okay here we go if anything else guys if you can recommend any good servers for parkour or like mini games i know mindplex is a good little mini game server so that's already a good that's already one that i could actually work with but if there's any other servers that could possibly join parkour or mini games believe like hunger games or anything like that let me know in the comment section below if adventure maps is your thing let me know about that as well i want i would like to join some of these things and actually make videos about it let's see if i'm able to actually maintain a commentary while working on these types of the videos although i probably will react more and more depending on what type of mini game it is or what type of hunger games it is or any other map i just want to actually try something different like tr for now i want to try at least once a week to release a brand new mini game or a brand new content that has to deal with minecraft on pc and we'll see how well it works from there if it goes successful if i could actually possibly do it every day then that could be a thing so far, I've already got myself the commentary aspect of making a video every single day. I got my Pixamon server videos. Then I got Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome. If I were to do other Let's Plays, I'll be working on those as well. So I got a lot on my plate and I just cannot wait to make more and more videos. It's going to be a great hobby. If it turns into a career, then that'd be utterly fantastic. And I'll have you guys to thank. If I can even English right. I can never English right. But yeah. Operation Bedrock, Operation Dome, podcasts, and for all the other different videos I make, that's where the different commentary aspect goes into play. Like, this is my commentary style. Some people are not used to it, so whenever they see something that they're not used to, at times they react neg negatively to it. They really do. Some people say I'm not funny. Some people say I'm boring. Some people say that you should try something different. I realize all that. I know it's not the same type of videos that you like to watch so yeah other people appreciate these videos i truly truly appreciate the people who appreciate watching my videos appreciatively and hey look at that there's coal yeah coal so yeah <laughs> just one bit of coal god dang it ah uh, well so again yes i do appreciate the people who like these type of commentaries i really really do and if i were to do something different then you're just gonna have to be patient with me as it's gonna be a little bit of a process because it's been a while since I've actually done other type of videos. So if I'm not good at it per se, then just give me patience and hopefully I'll become better at it eventually. If not, then I guess that these type of videos are not my thing. And I got to stick with what I am comfortable with and what I'm actually pretty decent at. If I have to say if it is decent. I, don't, I can't really critique myself, or I can critique myself, but I can never compliment myself. It is you guys that I actually listen to, and you guys tell me whether or not if I'm good or not. Because <laughs> if I were to say I'm good, then I will sound egotistical. And especially that if I were to, you know, like criticize myself, then that's another meaning saying that I am self-destructive. I can never win when it comes to these types of things. I listen to you guys. I really, really do. I read all the comments. Usually I respond to the trolls as well because sometimes that they are genuine, like they are they are making genuine points or they are genuine when they type these words out, but some of them they just want to actually cause trouble and whenever they whenever I know that they're just trying to cause trouble, I ignore those and then I read the ones that are actually real criticism. So my question to you is, do you like these types of commentaries? Do you like these types of podcasts? Let me know honestly in the comment section below. And if you want me to actually make Hunger Games or mini games or parkour maps, adventure maps or things like that, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any advice you could give me, let me know. Just anything you could do to help me out. Because I wanted to know what you wanted to see from me on this channel. Because I know I've been doing a lot of commentary because I'm very, very comfortable with making commentary. I like making commentaries, but I know for a fact that it's not going to get me a long way if nobody else is watching my videos. So I want to make some changes to the channel. And I'm still going to continue on with the other different content I already have. So that's not going to change at all. Maybe I'll even be more, be more happy in the other 
videos because of the fact of the matter is that I could be more of myself. Because like I said before, with Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome, I try to remain professional throughout the video because again, there's not much more you could actually do, say, or like add on to the commentary when it comes to mining blocks. So this is where I just am more professional. If I were to like act out and be crazy with all these videos, then it's gonna be like, you're, I'm trying too hard. That's the self-criticism that I see in myself. I don't wanna try too hard when it comes to making Operation Battle or Operation Dome. So if I want to actually be more energetic and be all out, then that's where the Hunger Games will be put in. And that's where you're probably gonna see me be more annoying. So it's gonna be like, I could be annoying in, in a few videos, but in the other videos, I remain professional and someone new to the channel ever sees my videos and they question why am I actually acting like this then they can see my other videos saying like hey okay I can see why he has to be professional in these videos but in the other videos he could be as crazy as he wants to be at least I could have my outlet in that given moment I remember in Modern Warfare 2 and all the other games I play with my friends I am just outgoing it's just more fun with those so that will be a thing guys that will be a thing and i really hope that it will actually work out for all of us it can keep you guys entertained and then i could just continue on with my commentary style for the other videos so at least with that we have an ultimatum i can make more videos and it could be the fact that i could just be warm of myself in the other videos while well, in the other videos i maintain the professionalism so yes that is all I could really say for now before I start to repeat myself because I completely forgot what I even talked about in the beginning of the video. So, caffeine, not good for your system, but it helps you actually stay awake, especially when I have a bad sleeping schedule of sleeping at 6 to 5 a.m., 5 to 6 a.m. every single night for the past week and a half. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of things at night to where I'm getting used to becoming nocturnal. I really gotta stop that, people. I really gotta stop that. It's taking a lot out of me. Okay, alright. So, this is gonna be the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, please. And as well as, if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. Because I upload videos every single day, except for Sundays, because that's gonna be my day of rest. All my social media is down in the description below. So, if you'd like to contact me through Twitter or Facebook, you may do that. And if you have a question for me to answer, feel free to leave down a question. Because if I make a video, I will credit you within the video itself. So, that is all. There's a slam right there, and there's nothing more I could say, so have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Sticky Tech, for helping me out with mining out the entire world. We got a lot of work to do, as you see behind me, and here he is in the background, to the left. You see him above the slime? Oh, nope, he's gone now. Okay, there he is. All right, have a great day, everyone. I'm SirKing090, and as always, I will see you, or sorry, we will see you in the next video.